I'm recording this video to show the extensive roof rust in this uh, 76 Maverick. I think I think this is one of the most damaged roof structures I have ever seen in my life. I've seen worse roof skins, but even though this roof skin is pretty poor, I mean, you see me pushing through with my fingers. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> I just took that piece of metal and I dropped it, but uh, some of this roof, look at that. <laughs> there you go. I just tore a piece of it out. But uh, the roof, the roof uh, skin is bad, but I've probably seen worse. But the problem with this roof is all the structure damage. The uh, the rails, the, the drip rails are all completely rusted off, all the way down to the body down here. And you see that it's it's rusted into the actual quarter panel. The whole quarter panel, like on the edge, is completely rotted. So my plan is to replace the whole roof down to here, because this structure, there's a structure up here inside. I opened it up and it's rusted out, and it's because it's thin metal. But there's there's structure in there that's rusted. So I'm gonna have to do this whole whole roof um, just to repair all this is just not that's three layers drills you know plus you have to redo the whole roof skin so you know just replacing replacing the whole roof would be a lot easier process even though it's you know it's not gonna be easy but it's a hell of a lot easier than drilling out all the spot welds and like probably 300 spot welds and re-welding them and and uh, because I'm gonna have to rebuild all this you can see it's rusted here, all the way down to here. It's rusted here. It had a big chunk out of here. That's why I went ahead and cut this off. This is all, this is all really pitted. I'm not going to be friggin', I'm not using that. I'm just going to get a good, a good roof and put it on here. The floors are pretty decent. They got rust, but they're not rotted. You can see they're completely solid. They're just, uh, they are rusty because of this roof was leaking. But another good thing is the cow's not rusted. I checked that, but this is another reason why I'm doing the whole roof. You can see even this down here, even that down there. So I'm getting it cut, getting the one cut down here at this little, and I'm gonna draw out all these spot welds. I'm gonna cut it about here. Before I put the roof in, I'm gonna graft this all in and you draw out these spot welds here. I'm gonna graft all this in before I put the roof on itself. I'll probably end up replacing this on the other roof too, maybe. I might just go ahead and just, just uh, well, I'll at least have to have to graft it. The, the, the other side's not rusted as bad as this, but I still don't really want to use this metal because it's so pitted. Um, and it'd just be easier for body work if I didn't use it. Because I'll just have a little weld here. I'll have to clean up and maybe putty, but I'd have to do all this skim coat, all that, and clean it up and seal it. And, but the cow's not rusted. The batter tray's not rusted. The floors are not really, they're rusty, but they're not rusted through. They're solid. Um, quarters are solid. It's a pretty, uh, rockers are solid. Frame rails, torque boxes, it's all solid. Uh, course port's all solid. Um, the only rust in this car is on this damn roof. And it does have some spots in the, like a couple pinholes in the floor from where the vinyl top was leaking for so long. But it is solid, so I, I already treated it with a rust, rust, uh, rust converter. And uh, so I intend, and uh, this is the battery tray, by the way. This battery tray is solid, except for one little corner. One little corner in this battery tray is rusted. Right here, in here, it does have one little pit right here. But I bought a, uh, I bought a new battery tray. I was gonna have to transplant this bracket in the side. It was only 15 bucks. Just drilled a couple spot welds and replace that. But the uh, torque, this is all good. Look at how, look at how uh, rust free this is, man. It's so cool to see. You see, I got all the bolts. All the bolts came out, no problem. And you can see there's no rust in the front of here. I mean, I'm pretty stoked. I can't wait to get it done, but uh, 
V6, 6R80 swap. I'm excited. Uh, right now, and I'm putting a, uh, I'm putting a K member under this. A, uh, I believe it's AJE uh, suspensions. I'm cross member. So, I'm going to the Fox body um, style front suspension on this. Um, biggest reason is because th this motor is so high and it's going to hit that steering shit in the back. But uh, that's all I wanted to go into for this one. I, when I go to repair the actual A pillar, I will uh, do some videos on that because I know that it's cool to see other people do it and inspire you to do it. I know I've been inspired by other people doing the same thing. So I want to give some more people some inspirations to learn how to weld and uh, learn how to fabricate and stuff. And, uh, but thanks for your time. Cherish your family. Have a good evening. Goodbye.